like a continuation of what I was doing last week. Really. So I'll just do a little bit more of this, and then I'll start another one. Um, so we've got Julie and Marjorie starting today. Hello. Um, so what I tend to do is I do a short demo at the beginning of the session, sometimes like 10 to 20 minutes. Um, they'll, they'll get filmed and then put them on YouTube for anybody who wants to have a look at them later. Um, so this was, so at the moment, the, this month, working on a theme of coastal scenes. And this was, you know, looking at kind of rocky scenes. And then I thought today I'd also go on to um, beach scenes. So that's another aspect of it. Um, another, another thing that we could do in a few weeks' time that one or two people have asked to do is some line out printing. Oh, that's so, great. Yep, yeah, so, so what I can, what I will probably do is buy in some soft cut line out um, and then I can then sell that off when we're able to do that. I've got a few rollers and I've got a couple of the tool cutters. So if anybody's got cutters, um, yeah, you can bring some back, try it. I think so. I think rather than buy tons and tons of rollers and tons yeah. of cutters, we just sort of share what we've got, um, and then you can put it like line out if you want to. Yeah. So the place, the place where I tend to get get some of the stuff is, is this place, which is like an educational wholesaler. Um, so I usually just buy a few things in for myself and for students, um, and I'll get the line out from here because it seems to be the cheapest, and I'll get a few in. If there's, I mean, this, the, the sort of stuff in here, some of it I think is pretty good, some of it isn't really that brilliant, but if anybody wants anything out of here, while I'm ordering, I can, you know, get stuff. So I, I usually get things like sketchbooks and stuff like that, and sometimes a few brushes. So if anybody wants to have a look at that, it's there. The prices are out of date and they don't include VAT, so you have to, uh, they need to be updated to some, but if you're interested in that, that's that. Um, right, so this one, uh, this was time I went in Scotland uh, in the summer, and really, you saw me start this the other week, I'm just looking at it now, um, so there's this area here, probably would work that in a couple of washes, perhaps put one fairly dark wash down, and then let that dry and put that on the top, which is what I've done up here. And I'm thinking the sea looks a bit too light here. That's all right, don't worry. Don't worry. So I think to start with, I just want to make this area a little bit darker. So I've got a bluey, so a little bit of cerulean mixed in with a grey that I mixed earlier. Um, so I'll just work some of that there. I think with watercolours, it's definitely worth having a bit of scrap paper to try out your colours on, which I've not done here, but it would be a good idea. I'm trying, I'm trying to leave some of the light around there, but I'm thinking it's not really... It's not something to suggest these... Both the reflections and the water are good. I'll break that up a little bit. So I think that, that's definitely, to me, helping. I think when I come out here, I'll just lighten that up even more. So I've got a little bit lighter here. And then perhaps go back and just go a bit darker in this area. Uh, this, it's not the ideal angle to paint a watercolor. You really want to be a, a little bit flatter, really. See what I'm doing. Um, these light light bits, I'm thinking probably I didn't mask those out earlier. So if you've got masking fluid, that's good to do. So what, what I will do is just use a bit of white. white. This is white to ash, but it's pretty much the same as white watercolour. Um, let's paint in a few of these. How is this blue ash made? Is it a big chalk base? Is it? Um, it's, just, it's just really the same watercolour but more opaque, so I don't like to put in to make it more opaque, maybe yeah. just more pigment. But it's it's made with gum, oh. like watercolour, so it behaves in the same sort of way as watercolour. Mm. So I'm just making some bits of white in here, and that will sort of give the impression of these breaking waves. 
And I, I quite like to just use it straight out of the tube because it keeps it nice and strong. As long as your brush is clean. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, you need a clean brush. Yeah. I think that's probably would be enough for that area. To me that starting to paint shape. I'll do a little demonstration. I mean this area here, I'll put one wash down already and let that dry. So we could just give that another wash. Just, just in certain areas. So just try and create a little bit of texture. Um, so I'm using a little bit of raw amber and just a tiny bit of some sort of red. Just to make that a little bit of a warmer, maybe a tiny bit of blue, just to grey it down a little bit. And then, sorry, that wants to be a bit stronger, so yeah. just make it grey a little bit darker. So, just trying to suggest a little bit of texture of the rock through really there. <coughs> So I'm keeping the, the one wash showing through, just breaking up a little bit in places. A few marks here and there. To... Have you a preferred medium? Uh, oil paints, yeah, for oh. use oils. Yeah. Well, even better than acrylic. Yeah, I don't. I, I like oils. Yeah, most of my work is oil paints. Oh, with me, I, I can't stand the smell of turf. You get no words to stuff. Yeah, the turf. Yeah. 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 Um, I use. Even the load. No, I, I can't get on with. Yeah. So the... I, I just use acrylics. Yeah. Yeah. Can you? So yeah, that, that's how it works. That area. Let's break that up a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Playing off from that one. <laughs> so that's that was kind of the project from last session. The other, the other idea I had uh, is a some sort of beach scene. So, so this was um, this is painting I did as a demo for an art mm -hmm. maybe a year or two. I can't remember what I did it. It's a year or two. Is that Bay? Was that Stock Bay? Yes, it's a Stock Bay. Yeah, oh. yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's, quite, it's made quite quickly and quite up to long. I'll work them up and finish them. But this one, I didn't feel, I felt like it was too high up. I think it needed a bit more space here, yeah. maybe a little bit less here. So I thought yeah. it's easier to just start again, have another go at that. So, you know, that I'll just abandon that particular one, just maybe have another fresh start. Um, but I like well, that. In other it. words, by moving the picture down, yeah. you get more of a distance. By bringing it up higher like that, that's coming closer to you, isn't it? Yeah, it is, mm. yeah. And I just felt it was just mm. not enough going on here, yeah. too much here. Well, it wouldn't necessarily Put some big fat more. ladies in the front. You could, but I like what I have here. I like, I like the, the things I have. It wouldn't need a lot, just, just felt like no. just slide it out of yeah. balance. Yeah. But the, the idea I quite liked, um, and it came from, a, that was a sketch I did at the time, so I did that at the beach. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, So this yeah, was just yeah. like a few figures at Thorpe Bay, and they were bringing the boats in, oh, yeah. that's a thing. Yeah. Um, so I was thinking, well, go back to the sketch. Um, so what I've done is I've, I've um, scanned that into my computer, and then just printed that off. Um, I've only got one version of this, I did a little bit of work on this this morning. So basically just made it a little bit bigger. I'm thinking, as a sketch, these two figures here are just a little bit cramped, a bit too yeah, far too to the edge. Yeah, they're too aren't they? Yeah, so I've, I've left a bit more room so I can make them bigger. And I've actually just tried to make these a little bit bigger. Sometimes if you've got groups of figures and they're all the same size, um, you're not quite sure whether to look over here or over here. So it's really playing around with the composition. Mm -hmm. But by having a drawing, then perhaps printing it off um, on the computer. Another, another idea, this is another one, I did a slightly smaller version. Um, and I was thinking, well that, I could just trace that onto a piece of watercolour paper. Yeah. So if you put that against, yeah. like if I put that against the light there, you can yeah. probably see it from yeah. the sun shining yeah. through. So it gets the bright lights, so you can literally just trace, trace off your drawing. 
So if you've got a drawing you're happy with, it's, it, you can just trace that to another piece of paper and then go from, go from there. Um, but I'll just say with this one, I used, um, just, I've just started using a little bit of acrylics. You can try out maybe different colours, different colour schemes. And, um, you know, quite a lot of artists will develop their work through a series of drawings, maybe take some photographs, maybe some little studies on site. So there's all sorts of ways of working. Um, I, most of my work I do just work directly from observation, but sometimes it's quite nice to work in the studio and develop a painting, develop an idea. Sometimes I've got paintings back and I thought, well, they, I'm quite happy with what I've got. And rather than repaint you know, certain areas, I'd rather just have another go. Do another version. So it could be that perhaps I'm like some this is just a credit paint on there. I can then start to just visualise how it might look as a, a finished painting. Make that a little bit browner. Try some different things in there. Maybe work up some of the. Try some different colour schemes over here. Perhaps, uh, Yeah, just wanted to yeah, suggest a few a few different approaches really. Um, the other thing you could do is if you've got a drawing and you're happy with the drawing like this, you could just put some pastel on the back and then literally trace that down into a board. <coughs> I could uh, get a little bit of pastel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is quite a nice, just an easy way of transferring an image, a drawing. And you, you could do this with photographs as well if you wanted. Um, but if I just put a little bit on the back of here, for instance. <coughs> Behind there, like a board, um, a little bit on the back of the paper, it should be like a pencil. Can you please play that? That's what I'm doing here, this will be. So, you should be able to just trace, literally trace this down. And I've, I've, on occasions I've done this, I've made a painting out of a sketch. Uh, I feel like once I've drawn something once, I'm not that interested in drawing it again. Yeah. I'd rather just use the drawing I've got. Particularly if it's drawing that's got a nice sort of character and a nice feel to it. Yeah, that's how it's coming. I see. Yeah, I see what you mean. And then I could then, that could be the paint. That's handy, yeah. So it's just a few techniques or approaches that you, you, you might want to use at some point. Nice, thanks. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Okay. Right, we'll leave it at that.